Hello. This lecture will be about provisional restorations or temporary restorations. Temporary restorations are defined as a crown restoration that is used in fixed prosthodontics during the time between tooth preparation and final placement of the definitive crown restoration. The objectives of provisional restorations Number one, to protect the tooth from pain stimuli as a result of thermal, chemical and osmotic changes in the mouth. As you can see here, after preparation, most of the enamel is removed, exposing the dentine, which is sensitive to pain by hot, cold, and chemical changes. Second, to prevent sensitivity and irritation to the pulp. If these stimuli such as hot, cold, or chemical stimuli, persist for a long period of time, they may cause damage to the pulp. Number three, to prevent movement of the prepared tooth, the adjacent teeth, and the opposing tooth. As, after preparation of the tooth, there will be space which was occupied by the enamel. It is a normal phenomena of the adjacent teeth and the opposing tooth to move to close these spaces. So, supra eruption of the opposing tooth may occur and drifting of the adjacent teeth. Number four, to protect the gingival tissue from irritation and food impaction. As you can see here, there is irritation and swelling of the gingiva because the food, when it contacts, it doesn't slide on the tooth, it contacts the gingiva directly. Unlike the gingiva on the adjacent tooth, you can see it's healthy because the food will slide on the tooth, not reaching the gingiva. Five, to provide aesthetics, phonetics, and function. When we prepare the teeth, the aesthetics are poor, the phonetics are very difficult, and the function is impaired. Therefore, if we put a provisional restoration, all these will be restored. Number six, to prevent tooth fracture. If the tooth or the prepared tooth is left like this for a long period of time, it may be subjected to occlusal forces, which may lead to the fracture of the preparation. Requirements of an optimum provisional restoration. The requirements are mainly categorized in three main groups, biological, aesthetic, and mechanical. The biological requirements include pulpal protection, maintaining periodontal health, providing occlusion, maintaining tooth position, and protecting against fracture. The aesthetic requirements are the temporary restoration should be easily contourable, color compatibility, translucency, and color stability. 
Here, the temporary crown should be easily contourable to make it a similar to the adjacent teeth. The color compatibility, it should be compatible from the shade point of view to the adjacent teeth. It should also have a degree of translucency which simulates the adjacent teeth. And finally, the color should be stable as long as the temporary bridge is inside the patient's mouth. Mechanical requirements include it should resist functional loading and it should resist removal forces. Here, the temporary restoration should withstand the removal forces and not break because we may need to put it back inside the patient's mouth for further appointments. Types of temporary crowns. There are two types of temporary restorations. There are the preformed or prefabricated and the custom made temporary restorations. The preformed are shells of plastic or metal that could be cemented directly on the prepared tooth following adjustment or after it's been lined with a resin material. Types of preformed temporary crowns. There are three main categories. Metal temporary crowns, plastic temporary crowns, and celluloid crown forms. These are the metal temporary crowns. This is the plastic temporary crown with the color simulating that of the tooth and the celluloid crown which is transparent. Now, the metal temporary crowns. Metal temporary crowns include aluminium crowns, nickel chromium crowns, and stainless steel crowns. The aluminium crowns are mainly used in dentistry much more than the other types. The aluminium crowns are divided into anatomical crowns and non-anatomical crowns. Anatomical crowns means that the crown has anatomy to the occlusal surface, as you can see here and here. The non-anatomical crowns have a flat occlusal surface. These aluminium crowns are mainly indicated to be used in the posterior teeth, as you can see here. The clinical procedure of aluminium crowns, first, select the proper size and shape of the temporary crown according to the prepared tooth. As you can see here, there are multiple sizes of aluminium crowns. So we select the size of the tooth, prepared tooth, and compare it with the proper aluminium crown. Then we trim the cervical margin of the temporary crown using a pair of scissors to conform to the gingival margin or finishing line. And we check the vertical height of the crown. It should not be higher than the occlusal 
surfaces of the adjacent teeth. We seat the temporary crown on the prepared tooth and ask the patient to bite on it. We check the margins and check the occlusion as well. The margins should not impinge on the gingiva and the occlusion should not be higher than the adjacent teeth. Number four, we smoothen the margins with a stone burr. Then we cement the temporary crown on the tooth with any suitable cementing material such as zinc oxide eugenol cement. But if we see that the crown rocks while we place it on the prepared tooth, then this temporary crown should be lined with suitable acrylic temporary crown material. This is done by first applying a layer of Vaseline on the tooth, the prepared tooth, filling the temporary crown with the suitable acrylic temporary material, then placing the crown on the tooth. When the acrylic temporary material reaches the exothermic reaction, heat will be generated, so we should remove the crown from the tooth not to cause damage to the pulp. We place it again and remove it, place it again until full polymerization. We remove the excess of the material, smooth it and cement it in place. The second type of preformed temporary crowns is the plastic temporary crown. The plastic temporary crown include the polycarbonate temporary crowns and the acrylic temporary crowns. Polycarbonate temporary crowns, these are made from polycarbonate plastic combined with microglass fibers to make them strong. Preformed polycarbonate temporary crowns are available for the anterior and posterior teeth, as you could see here. They come also in all the shapes of the teeth for anterior teeth and posterior teeth centrals, laterals, and canines, and posterior teeth, and they also come in different sizes. The second type of plastic temporary crowns is the acrylic temporary crowns. These are made from acrylic resin and also are available in different sizes and color. These are used for posterior teeth and these are used for anterior teeth. These are used also for posterior teeth. The third type of preformed temporary crowns are the celluloid crown forms. They are mainly used for the anterior teeth but can also be used for the posterior teeth. They are made from a very thin translucent layer of cellulose acetate. They act as a mold for the construction of temporary crowns. They also come in different sizes. As you could see here, they come in different shapes according to the teeth, anterior teeth, posterior teeth, and they also come in different sizes.